Think about all they've done to Donald Trump. First, it was hoaxes, witch hunts, and impeachments. Then it was FBI raids, courtrooms, and mug shots. Finally, it was bullets in a Pennsylvania field. And after all that, this man stood up with blood draining down his face, pumped his fists in the air, and told us to fight, fight, fight. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger, freer, greater, and more united than ever before. And we will make America great again. We know what they think of us. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. So if Donald Trump can get through all of that, we can get out to vote. Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. I know that's kind of a weird intro to a show with a campaign ad, but I shared that because I thought it was done so beautifully. And I want you to remember over the last eight years, exactly what they've done to Donald Trump, exactly what the media has done, the deep state, and so on. And we're bringing this quote from Molly Hemingway that she posted up on X. She said, by the way, don't just note who is lying about Liz Cheney. Note also who is too stupid to resist, much less fight, Democrat and media misinformation operations. Remember who they are and do not trust them ever again. Okay, we constantly have these people in the media uh, doing this. And then we've got Republicans, quote unquote Republicans, coming along and, oh yeah, you know, maybe that was a little over the top and stuff. First off, we're going to look at what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney in context at the Tucker Carlson event. I'm going to share that clip with you. Then we're going to look at what the media is saying. And then I've got another zinger to bring in here as well. But the reason she couldn't stand me is that she always wanted to go to war with people. I don't want to go to war. She wanted to go. She wanted to stay in Syria. I took him out. She wanted to stay in Iraq. I took him out. I mean, if it were up to her, we'd we'd be in 50 different countries. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her. OK, let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, we'll let's uh, send uh, let's send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the enemy. But she's a stupid person. And I used to have I'd, I'd have meetings with a lot of people and she always wanted to go to war with people. Look, everything about that clip was fair game. For far too long, we've known that politicians, obviously typically older men and women, are sending younger men and women, the future of our nation, to fight in these needless wars. Sometimes over oil, over their own personal interests, over funding the military industrial complex, whatever it is. There is a time where there are just wars that need to be fought. But he is making a great point here. And that is if Liz Cheney actually had to go out there and face that, she might feel a lot differently about it. It's a fair thing to call out. But watch how the liberal media handles this. I don't think you even need to call it fire upon. He's saying quite explicitly and unambiguously that Liz Cheney should be shot, should be executed by firing squad. Four days out from Election Day and former President Donald Trump is escalating his violent rhetoric suggesting one of his most prominent critics, the former pro Congresswoman Liz Cheney, should be fired upon. It's so disingenuous. He not only did not call for her to be executed, he never called for her to be fired upon. He was simply making a hypothetical situation. If she had to face that, how would she feel about war? Oh wait, there's more. Your reaction to what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney. Yeah, well look, I mean, it was completely inappropriate, dangerous, and unbecoming of a leader. Mr. Trump was literally going after someone who doesn't agree with him. So you shouldn't be a surprise when people come on TV and feel the need to agree with him. Oh, nine barrels, well, uh, when he says nine barrels shooting at her, that obviously evokes images of a firing squad. It, it evokes images of an execution. Let's execute a political opponent who happens to be a woman um, because I don't like her. And like, does that pull more low propensity voters in his coalition to the polls? 
I, I honestly don't think so. He doesn't think so because he doesn't think. Actually, it will pull more low propensity voters. Now, they're trying to make this into a different story, but most of us are tired of having sons and daughters sent off to wars simply for the Bushes and the Cheneys and the Obamas and the McCains of the world. Seriously, this is ridiculous, okay? To say these types of things, that's what's irresponsible. It's not what Donald Trump's saying is irresponsible, making a hypothetical situation about what she didn't, wouldn't want to face, that she wouldn't be so eager to go to war if she had to face that. Okay, he never called on that to happen to her. Okay, this is the problem with the mainstream media. It is completely, it's all lies, all the time, all day long. In fact, to show you just how big their lies are, let me show you how they uh, move the narrative on like the economy. This is the final jobs report before the election in 2020. And it says, final jobs report before election day shows just 661,000 positions were added last month abysmal, right? Listen to this. From November 1st, 2024, the U.S. added just 12,000 jobs in October as a strike in hurricanes hit unemployment. Do you spot the difference? Okay, so one, 661,000 is terrible. It's all Trump's fault. Then when 12,000 jobs are added, oh, it's all just based upon other factors. Okay, this is the way our mainstream media acts. And anybody who's stupid enough to fall for this anymore you can't believe a thing they say. You have to go back and look up everything yourself. Look it up in context. And folks, you need to share this stuff. You need to share this video specifically because they are going to run hard with this narrative and any other they can from now to the election to try and discredit Mega and Donald Trump when it's all built upon a house of lies. And also, go check out my sponsor, MyPillow. That's right, MyPillow.com. Use promo code Lumberjack. Folks, you will save big money. And right now, you can get a free pillow. It's the free Steve pillow because Steve Bannon just got released from jail. And it is absolutely free. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling. If you go to MyPillow.com forward slash Lumberjack, or you can call the 1-800 number at 800-568-2865. We'll see you on the next episode. Subscribe if you're new. Peace out.